Hey, hey, what's going on, knights? Name is the gamer. Welcome back to another epic video. So, it is five in the morning. <laughs> I couldn't sleep, so um, and I noticed that not too long ago, they have dropped, finally dropped the Emma cigarette uh, skills, and man, has this been hyped. Uh, they kind of teased this a couple months ago with. Uh, Mr. Crow, ML Crow, um, when he came out, he they kind of teased her, and everybody was wondering when she was going to come out. And ML Lulu came out, and then a whole bunch of or other filler ML heroes were in the Mystic, so everybody's like, What's going on? you know. So let's actually just jump into it and see what, what this Operator has to Secret. offer. At your service. Oh man, that looks so clean! Executing commands. That looks so cool. I wonder what the difference. Okay, so predictions, right? Um, so when it comes to ML heroes, they kind of do the same um, route that they do with their normal element self. So as you can see, the second skill kind of looks the same. So as uh, ML cigarette. So what would would she have some kind of extinction? Does she still do bleeds? I wonder what they do. It, but um, either way, like her design looks really cool, very high tech type of thing, right? Oh, and she's a ranger now. She wasn't a ranger before. I think she's a warrior. No, she's an android. That's interesting. Okay, um, like I said, um, or I usually say when um, they release these, I don't typically sit into whatever they're talking about because everybody can really do that um if you want to see the video for yourself just look for the epic 7 channel um that's where i'm looking at it right now but i usually just look for the skills so okay let's look at this so the 115 base speed which is nice that is not bad 27 percent credit chance as well which is even better that means that she's going to be an attacker um what else i wonder let's see let's see what else the imprint releases attack and her concentration as well so that kind of leads more into what i was saying okay ooh, they start off with the second skill which is which makes sense because her second skill goes into her third skill as well kind of um batters the enemy with the scythe grants an extra turn nice when the enemy is defeated penetrates defense by 50% or 100% when the target is granted a barrier. <gasps> wow. So any fallen Cecilia's, any Lilia's artifact uh, that gives a barrier. That's going to do. Holy crap. I wonder how much damage that is. And I'm so glad it, it can actually crit because I don't like the <laughs> nor defense I don't crit. All right, let's see. If you, this does a lot of damage, then are you serious? Okay. Um, <laughs> pause right there. Um, I said this before and I'll say this again. When it comes to heroes, especially when they're debuting their skills, they you don't typically show the best numbers that they can show like they kind of show like average maybe even below average numbers so the fact that that did a whole bunch of damage i can't imagine how much damage really good people were really good molagora or not really good molagora but really good um really good uh, gear so That'd be interesting. Oh yeah, also uh, ML Crow's passive gives a barrier as well, right? Alright, uh, third skill. Let's see what this does. Causing in drones that attacks all enemies with 75% chance to decrease buff durations by one turn before decreasing combativeness by 20% increases attack of all allies. That's interesting. So, not a strip really. It's a pseudo strip. It, um decreases buff duration that's interesting but also decreases combat readiness so it's kind of uh kind of like a bizarre in a way extends durations of buffs granted by this skill by one turn so increases attack by allies by three turns instead of two 
and it's useful every you know, I mean it's available every five turns okay I think that second scale is really more interesting so this is so they're done with the RB counter counters they're more for the fallen Cecilia counters <laughs> and uh, Emma crowd um, because I think they've noticed that they've yeah they've basically taken over all right uh, first go attacks the enemy with the scythe before healing the ally with the lowest health interesting amount recovered increases proportion to the attack nice i like that see and 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 that's that's really cool because like um emma haste i like his um kit when it comes to like not just countering rvs because i've realized that when it comes to um other um him healing helps factor in when sometimes you know you don't kill on time and they're doing damage so I like that. that's really cool i love the animations as well okay so december so th that's after the next rotation i'm guessing nice 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 so is she worth the hype um hmm i think she was i really do think she was she looking like she's gonna do a lot of damage um i'm actually getting closer to the pity um to, to my pity so i might end up pitting for her so we'll, we'll see but she looks really interesting i like that they of course adding penetrate defense uh on a hero can make it basically really good um so I give it a, like I give it like an eight out of ten. I feel like that was or eight eight point five out of ten. She did. She does looks like she's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, she's looked like she can do utility wise, especially since she has one fifteen base speed. So it'll be interesting to see how she works. Um, I also wanted to go over because they usually I don't usually go over this, but they had a stream, um, and I'm not gonna listen to them talk really. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I was looking at the wrong stream. So this, I was wondering, I was like, anyways. Um, so the new hunt, uh, they kind of went into more detail. I don't know where they get their information from, but um, cause they don't leave it in the links in the description or anything, but Katie's, which is coming up in this update as well. So balance patch and new hunt is coming so get ready three new equipments as well um and let's see what he does at least i think it's a when attacked increases danger level of attacker by one danger level is reset when the attacker uses a non-attack skill that's right i remember that i think i saw something that was really interesting was it this one no Triggers a dual attack with an ally's attack when dual attacking increases the convergence. <laughs> That's freaking dumb. So is that kind of saying like you have to kill the the little the 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 his allies first before him? We'll see. This one's I think this is an interesting one. It takes only fifty percent of damage when from skills that increase damage proportion to the max health. So basically. They're shutting down Daydream Joker. Sorry, Daydream Joker. Um, they're basically shutting that down or Mr. Soul. So it's interesting to see what uh, what kind of uh, things you, you, to use here. Obviously, you, look, you think you're thinking of uh, she's gonna be really good here because she has an omni attack skill and ignore defense, uh, which does a whole bunch of damage, right? Okay, so looks like they're. Bologna is going to be the next drama. Bologna, if you don't have Bologna, I feel like she's really, really good. Also Charlotte, but um, Bologna, she's one of the better defense breakers because she rotates her skills really well. She's able to use her third skill practically two times before she goes back to it being usable again. So she's really good. And then 
Miss Charlotte as well. She did get a buff, but I don't think she's very viable still. I don't know. She does kind of like what Crayon does, which is like if she has buffs, her skill becomes an AoE or something like that. But I don't think it's worth. I feel like if you want to, if anything, this is the time for you to save. <laughs> I don't think um, if you have Bellona, then there's not really much to summon here. At least for me, I'm not summoning for this because I have both heroes regardless. Um, but the more interesting one is the coin shop. So the rotation is changing. And I talked about this in the test stream I did like last week or something. Um, Judge Kise is being is replacing Ruel, which is really nice. She's a she's basically a cheat code for the game, but you see you find an Isaria as well. So does that mean that the normal coin chop is coming this update as well? That's something to talk about. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll have like 24 hours anyway. So we'll see how that um, goes. Wait, what? They're doing three? Oh, no. Wait, what? I'm confused. I'm probably I'm probably not seeing something, but I guess Basar is going to be the week after. Yeah, Basar and Lyrica. So I feel like those two, <laughs> those two are way better than freaking um, this upcoming one. Yeah, this week's rotations. Lyrica uh, is kind of meh, but Basar, if you don't have him, he's really, really good. You'd regret skipping his... Uh, his banner all right and then that is it i'm going to go ahead and edit this thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what y'all think about Elma Sigur. i feel like that's what's the most hype and obviously she's not coming out like now right but it's worth getting excited for i feel like she she's not it doesn't seem like she's very iffy she seems really really interesting um but we'll see when she comes out more than likely i'm summoning for her regardless but Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Every like, comment, subscription is appreciated. And I hope to see you on the next video or stream. Alright, peace.